For full disclosure, I was given a free copy of Halo Wars 2 and Early Access by 343 Industries. Please keep that in mind when watching this review. Thank you. Halo Wars 2, the long-awaited sequel to Halo Wars, itself one of the best RTSs on a console, at least in my opinion, has finally arrived after eight long years. Developed by Creative Assembly, best known for the Total War series and overseen by 343 Industries, Halo Wars 2 picks up 28 years after the original game. The Spirit of Fire's crew is awoken when something pulls them through slipspace to a mysterious artifact known as the Ark. There, they discover that while humanity had won the war against the Covenant, other threats still lurked among the stars. One of those threats is the Banished. Led by a rather intelligent brute known as Atriox, it falls on the Spirit of Fire to try and beat back the Banished, lest they leave the galaxy in the hands of a monster. After the first encounter with the Banished, and Atriox specifically, Spirit forces go to work doing what they can to fight Atriox. The story from there is pretty easy to follow. The coveted blur cutscenes which preceded almost every level in Halo Wars 1 are far more sparse in this sequel. For Halo Wars 2's 12 levels, there are 7 cutscenes, though many are much longer on average. Levels in Halo Wars 2 also start with a sort of mission briefing, as characters talk about what to expect in the level ahead. It's a small detail that kinda reminds me of classic Call of Duty, specifically Modern Warfare, and I mean that in a good way, I loved those mission briefings. In Halo Wars 2, while it won't necessarily help make up for the lack of blur content, for me it certainly did help fill that void just a little bit. It also helped with the loading screens, which take for fucking ever. Seriously, forever, at least on Xbox. On PC, loading times can be a bit faster, but that depends on your hardware. Another great storytelling element in Halo Wars 2 are the Phoenix Logs. Taking the place of the timeline from Halo Wars 1, these logs add essential backstory for characters, locations, and the general setting of the game, and they're often very insightful. Even the multiplayer maps have fairly in-depth backstories, at least for multiplayer maps. Gameplay-wise, Halo Wars 2 builds on the solid base developed by Ensemble Studios in a lot of good ways. The controls are pretty familiar right off the bat, though there have been a few changes to accommodate new features, specifically those related to Blitz. While I did have minor issues with responsiveness, notably when sub-selecting units or selecting all units, the controls are pretty much as solid as ever. On PC they may take a bit of getting used to, but once you get into the swing of things it's all pretty easy. In terms of level design, Halo Wars 2 really steps things up from the original. Levels are rather diverse, starting off with simplistic base and force building from Halo Wars 1 and slowly introducing new encounters and scenarios. As an example, and without getting into details, there were a couple levels that, on paper, sound more suited to a shooter, but end up working incredibly well in Halo Wars 2. Each level changes things up while introducing new units and leader abilities, rarely getting boring. The sound design too is top notch. All the sounds feel like they belong in Halo and, like with the anniversary games, feel more real and present, and in the case of weaponry contain much more impact. The soundtrack in this game is a brilliant follow-up to Halo Wars 1. Much like Steven Rippey's score, the music is certainly reminiscent of classic Halo at times, but it brings its own unique style to the table that both allows it to stand out and fit right in with Halo. Finally, I want to talk art design. Overall, the game is gorgeous, but there's one thing I did take issue with. The Forerunner architecture. It's all way more reminiscent of what we saw in Requiem, rather than the last time we were on the Ark. Locations that should have been familiar were often completely alien, and after the first few levels, rarely did I feel like I was on the Ark. Story-wise, while the game is rather easy to follow and was fairly exciting for the most part, there are some shortcomings. At the start of the game, we're told that the spirit was brought to the Ark, after which the plot point was dropped and never again addressed. And that's the case for a lot of things, stuff starts slash is introduced and then is never followed up on. There are also points where characters just suddenly have knowledge about key story elements with no explanation for how they know. I will say in defense of the game, a lot of this knowledge could have been, and likely was, imparted by Isabel. She's been on the Ark for quite a while, and between her own work and UNSC records, she would probably know a lot about it. Still, I would have preferred to have seen, or at least heard, Isabel briefing characters with this knowledge. Halo Wars 2 is very much an opening act to a grander story. In some ways it's a detriment to the game, but overall I think it's interesting enough to warrant a follow-up. 
Hell, in some ways, I think the game would have actually been worse if it had been forced to properly conclude like its predecessor, and the scope of the story it wants to tell seems far too grand for a single game. So, how is Halo Wars 2 overall? For all the negatives I brought up, the game is a solid successor to a classic. The story for its shortcomings is very easy to follow for old and new fans, and the Phoenix Logs present a lot of content for the more lore-savvy to dive into. The levels are well designed and the music and sounds are fantastic and never once did I feel bored while playing, something I can't really say about Halo Wars 1. With serious consideration, I can safely say that Halo Wars 2 earns an 8 out of 10. The game is most definitely worth its price at launch and I encourage you to pick it up. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.